Hello everybody and once again welcome back to Fantarug. This is part 6 and we're heading through Biomed 2 looking for escape pods. So, uh, let's compare Biomed 2 to Biomed 1. I wonder if there's going to be clones who have been experimented on around here, just like Biomed 1. Looks pretty dark. We're starting off with a map by the looks of it. Is that an audio log I hear somewhere in that direction? Maybe. Let's take a look at this map though. Right, it certainly looks bigger than Biomed 1. Medical surgery... Uh, oh, hang on, right at the top. Evac pods. Right. Okay. Uh, hang on. Jesus, look at all that blood. I think this is a door. But for whatever reason, I can't access this room, so I can't cut right through to the other corridor to get to evac pods. Shame. So, looking at medical right now. This is medical. Okay. Got to go to the right, I think. And I am getting green flashes on my screen. This can't be good. The health situation's great, but the, uh, the toxin level, that isn't. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. <laughs> I think in the earlier versions of this game, the toxin level could go up to like 200 or so, but that is definitely not the case this time. The captain again? In a way... I understand why Marcus didn't want to tell me anything. It wasn't loyalty to the corporation. It was shame. It was shame that held him back. <sighs> All these people. You could feel the pain of those creatures just by looking at them. H Plus wanted to improve its clones even more. What I saw is beyond words. Greater pain resistance, advanced gene mutations. The last shreds of humanity the clones had has now been taken away from them. There were rows upon rows of cylinders containing clones. Were they all intended for experiments? There were things in jars that I can't find a name for. Marco says they call them brainy bugs. <laughs> One of these abominations infected the technician who was caught in my cabin. Marco says it was an accident. No, friend. This is chaos. The inevitable consequence of the evil that has nested here. Fantaruk. But where is the justice that was supposedly heralded by the chaos? Everyone is involved. The entire crew. We all have blood on our hands. Those who created this place and those who kept their eyes closed, pretending not to see anything. I don't need proof. They're coming for oh, us. Oh, right. <laughs> we're not armed. Fuck this. I'm setting the claws free. Right. Right, okay, that uh, that banging on the door or whatever it was, whatever we just heard, I thought that was actually happening behind me or something, that was weird. Uh, but he set the clones free. So does that mean he, he kind of put the events of the game, you know, into motion? Did he let me out of my containment? Or, I don't know, maybe it was for every other clone, because I think I arrived a little late because I had, like, a maintenance issue or something. Either way, there you go. Okay, let's, um, let's move on following the stains of blood. This is never, never good. Okay, let's have a look. Se what? No, 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 no. Security system's offline. Uh, I don't think there is a nearby security operative, so yeah, sure. Okay. At the very least, it stopped the alarm. I don't want any loud sounds to, like, lure monsters to me. <laughs> What's in here? Hey, this isn't bad. Batteries and a syringe? Doesn't get too much better than that, does it? What have we got to work with, anyway? What are we dealing with? Okay, so three batteries, two syringes. Okay, um, what was my flashlight situation? I don't think it was... No, piss poor actually, so let's replace that. And I am not liking the look of this. This looks like a one-way kind of thing, doesn't it? Right, the morgue. I actually want to be heading away from the morgue, I think. Although, I think curiosity is going to kill the cat in this case, because I'm going to have a look. I can hear a beeping, like... There's another audio log beyond there. And I think, just like the door a little while ago, I, I can't get this open. Right, okay, so... 
I think we just have to head this way? Oh shit. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Uh, I should be aware of black splotches and stuff on my screen. So yeah, pretty much... Oh. I don't think we can go straight ahead. We're going to have to bend around to the right. Go past the MRI. So yeah, okay. Let's go, let's, let's go around this way if possible. Yeah, okay. So it looks like we're dealing with the monsters rather than the clones this time. A lot of sealed off doors by the looks of it. It's very interesting. Hey, is that a syringe? I could always do with another. Oh god. Shit. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh god, he's right there. Fucking hell. I can barely see. The only reason I can see this guy actually is because he's got like the, the yellow things on his arm. It's actually that dark. Jesus Christ, okay. I, I kind of don't want to move because I'm actually sort of in a dark spot right here. I don't really want to leave this area. I suppose we have to. To go, what, this, this way? This way? Yeah! What the hell? It's like a pipe or something on the floor. I can barely see it. We're heading in the right direction, though. Yep, okay, towards the office. Just keep going this way. And then there's a corridor to the left. Oh, Jesus, there's a door there. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, yep. That must be the office. There's yet another map. I guess a lot of people got lost in this area. I'm not surprised when it's this dark. Okay. So we need to head this way, I think. Oh, no. Medical access required? Oh, hang on. No, no worries. What? Shit. Hang on. How? Do I still have that thing? Still got the USB stick? Captain's access data. How does the captain not have access to the medical area? Maybe it was kind of revoked after he was arrested or something? Either way, that's a bit silly, but shit. We can't get through. I guess we're looking for a card then, like before? Some sort of medical card. Hang on. The monster's just there. Shit. <laughs> Again, I don't want to move. Okay. He's going that way. I am going to go this way, I guess. Is there anything here for me? Just a lot of blocked off doors. What about the office? The, uh, the quite well lit office. I'm just looking for anything that's glowing, really. Again, I can hear maybe an audio log or something like that. Shit, okay. This is horrible. I don't want to turn my flashlight on, because I'll be exposed, but the trouble is, this is more or less a black screen for me right now. It doesn't really help that the sun's pretty much glaring outside, so... Oh god. Did he see me? I'm... I'm honestly not sure. I guess not. Okay. So let's see, we, we'll, need, we'll need to find some sort of uh, way through this door. Where could it be? Office? Surgery? MRI? Medical? The morgue, we can't access the morgue. Oh, this, this, this is basically a dead end. There's nowhere for me to run here. Unless I'm missing a vent or something. I, I've kind of got to try and plow through this guy. Who's just there. Can he come through the sealed doors? Surely not. Right, this might be a chance to, to get past him. Okay, let's have a look. Here, yes, let's have a look in here. Okay, we're not going that way. That's uh, it's also sealed. Deck 16, I think. Sure. Wasn't Deck 16 an Unreal Tournament map or something, I think? This doesn't look promising, honestly. Okay. They emit a little bit of light, but I'm still staying in the dark in this area, thankfully. What's going on? Oh my god, it must be bad. 100%! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go this way. I just kind of want to stay in the dark, honestly. What are we looking at here? What is that? Surgery? Surgery, okay. Uh, sure. Maybe a surgeon's card or something is around here. Oh dear Christ, okay. 
Can I hide behind here or anything? There's nowhere to hide in this place. But thankfully, it looks like there's no other ways in, either. Just that door over there. I might get trapped, I might not. We'll see how it goes, I suppose. Is this all blood? Jesus. Oh, shit. What is this? This isn't for medical examination or anything, is it? This looks... Well, this looks like it's for Fantarug, basically. Loads of stuff back here. Another syringe. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, dear. Apparently, this area is dark, so I'm just going to stay here and, uh, and have a look at these. Okay, we found... I think... I think that might have been an ID card? Yeah. Okay. For a surgeon, for someone... So, for medical personnel, right? I guess. I'm hoping. Okay. And there was also a text log. Okay, James. I'm like, <laughs> honestly, I can barely see that because of the light in the background, so... There we go. James. James. James is gone. He went off and died. I should note that the flesh still doesn't react well to the new antidote synthesis. I thought that it would work with James. I took a liking to this name. James. Nice promotion for a piece of flesh. Receiving a name. But he's dead now. James is no more. Wait, so that was James? It was for medical examination? It was for testing and everything? Jeez. Okay. By the way, that information that I collected last time about uh, Fantaruk, all that stuff on the tablets, is pretty cool stuff. If you uh, if you haven't read it before, it's uh, it goes into the origin, the origins a little bit more about the first one who sort of contracted the virus and had this strange vision and well had a kind of conversation with the sort of occult ancient deity called Fantaruk. The symbol that we've been seeing is based on the e Egyptian god Set. Uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. But I'm still not entirely sure if the Fantaric thing is entirely real. Uh, it might just have been like a fever dream because of the the disease. I don't know. Right. I think we might have what we uh, what we need to get through that door now. It's just getting to it. That's the hard part. I guess I could just make a mad dash for it. Maybe I should keep exploring. I don't know. Either way, let's get to a let's get to a dark area. Maybe over here. Okay, it's dark over here. Yep. So it's round here. Oh god. Where is that thing? There he is. There he is. Okay, which way is he going? Which way is he going? I guess my vision kind of bests his. I think he's actually on his way over here. Yep. 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 Right, hang on. Let's have to pass through here. Maybe we can give him a little bit of a... I don't know. Yeah, let's go back here. This is where the start is, right? Pretty much. And I can go around here if needed. If he comes from the left, I'll go right. If he comes from the right, I'll go left. I, I can't see. Is he up there? I, I see something moving, but it might just be because of the head bobbing up and down that the light's moving, really. Oh, this is hell. It really is. He's to the left. This is a brilliant sign. Right, uh, I'm hoping he's not going to pick up on my footsteps. Okay. Yeah, just keep following the pipe. This is it. This is it. This is, a, this is the make or break situation, basically. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's that red light up there, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Now, please, let this ID card work. Yes! Brilliant! Access granted. So then, let's, uh, let's take a look. Jeez. What's going on with his face? I need to have a better look at that, even if I do risk death. Jeez. That's horrible. This is one hell of a shady corporation, isn't it, really? Okay. I don't know why I'm peeking around corners. I know he's behind me. Still not entirely sure if there's more than one, though. Ah, that's the beeping I heard earlier, right? <gasps> Marcus! Damn it! My wound healed! How the hell? Marcus! Why did you do it? Get up, man! Why did you do it? Fuck! I kill you! I kill all of you! Punishment will reach you! I swear! Marcus! What did 
to inject me with my wound. The bullet went through me, but there's not even a trace that it happened. You're all guilty. All of you. Marcus, you can't. Not now. <sighs> this ship shouldn't even exist. This shouldn't have happened. Why did you do this to us? <sighs> Total chaos. I killed the baby girl. Found the look. You're probably all escaping to the emergency capsules. So you want to protect your lousy bodies and crazy minds? Before you run away, look me in the eyes and tell me why it had to come to this. Ah! My heart! Ah! What's going on? God! It burns! Marcus! Well, I think that's pretty much confirmed that Marcus has, like, infected the captain. Right. Uh... Okay, so he might be going through, like, a metamorphosis. Maybe he's one of the monsters. Shit, anyway, uh, this way, yeah? Scanning initiated. Overall infection. 60%. Jeez. Risk of body failure. That's getting... That's getting pretty high. Okay. Scan complete, everything's fine, good to go. Let's find an escape pod. Let's just get the hell out of here. Right. Using the captain's access this time, not the uh, the medical personnel ID card. Right. Is this a pod? Maybe? Or an empty pod? That may be where they shoot out. Uh, let's see. So do I have to find a, a working one? I suppose. They all look empty, to be honest. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Sure. Gotta go this way. Any monsters around here? I'm... Oh god, probably. Yeah. Oh, and a tablet as well. Okay, let's take a look at that. I can't find you, Bonnie. I hope these monsters... I hope nobody harmed you. It's complete chaos over here. We made it to the capsules with the two from the tech station, but the doors are locked and one of the engineers is trying to open this shit up. Bonnie, please, find this log and escape the ship. Don't be afraid for me. Looks like we've nearly got it open. So, whoever wrote that, is that the bloody mess on the floor right now? Did he make it? Maybe. I mean, the, the pods, they all seem to be gone. Oh, do I need the code or something? I don't know. Maybe the, uh, the captain's access can, like, override all of that. They're all empty, I think. And it's getting pretty high again, so we're going to use yet another syringe. Temporary slow-mo. Not bad, eh? Okay. Something to do with the valves, maybe? Ah, I genuinely thought I could use them, because they're all, like, lit up. Never mind. No. Hang on! No, we got something here! Okay, well, there's one. Maybe that's the one I need to uh, escape in? Seems like the only one that's working. And I can't use any of the valves? Okay, can't use... What about the keypad? What about this one? No. Okay. Oh, right, didn't see that. The monitor. Hello. Capsule release... Oh, mechanism failure. Uh, yes. Initiating trajectory change procedure. What? Collision course, Icarus. We're sending the ship into a star? Or the capsule? No, the ship. Shit, okay. Well, I've done it now. <laughs> Fine. Oh, now it's working, okay. Right, let's, uh, let's see. Initiate manual override procedure. Absolutely, initiate. All capsules launched. Really? Wait, uh, I... Hmm. I kind of wish I was on the inside, really. Ah, oh, damn it. And off it goes. God. Wait, what's this? I should have known. H-plus remotely disabled the capsule launch. A safety measure in case of an epidemic. We're all trapped here. And there's no escape. Ah! What's happening to me? My whole skin is burning. My bones. I feel... Something. I hear beep. The claws are fighting against them. Oh! Chaos. Total chaos. This shouldn't have happened. I made a mistake. I could have plotted a course towards the Icarus. I'd rather burn. Burn all of this. The 
Empire will unite us with chaos and justice. Ah! Oh, the people are screaming. No, no, they're guilty. Everyone knew and nobody did a thing. Fantaruk. The substance. Mark saved my... Arr! What? What's happening to my skin? <sighs> Jesus Christ. He's one of the monsters, isn't he? He's been like chasing me, I think. The captain. Fuck. That's kind of cool, actually. But yeah, his plan was to, uh, to use, I guess, the USB drive that I've got now to send the ship into Icarus, which I guess is happening right now. What's going on? Hazardous pressure level. Oh. Oh, we do have to use the valves after all? Okay, this, uh, 404? Is, is there like a sequence we need to do, or? Let's just use all of them, see what happens. Uh, is that good? Oh, hang on. Can I use that? Ah, no. Never mind. Right, I think I reset all the valves, so maybe if I just do one, two, three, four, it'll work. Yeah, one's over here. And then two. Right. And then, what was it? Three. Yep, three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Finally, it bloody worked. Okay, bloody hell. Did I want it to work? Just as I thought, though, the pipe comes out of the way. We've got to go through the vent. I guess the suit we're wearing is pretty protective. This way? Okay, whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, I spent far too long in that valve puzzle. I think I used another syringe as well. Was I hit? Oh, shit, I was. Oh, Christ. This way? Yeah, just keep following the fire. Just get the hell out of here. We need to make, the, we need to make this as quick as possible as well, because I think the ship is now heading towards the star. Captain, well, I, I guess that's me. I've got the access. So, well, hang on, we're heading back? I guess so. Ninety. Ninety percent. Bloody hell. Okay, uh, this is where I'm going to end Fanta at part six. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. As always, oh my bloody hell! Look at look at that guy's arm. The fire did its damage, didn't it? You can barely see the barcode anymore. Wow. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hope to see you back in part seven. Uh, it seems like we're getting kind of close to the end of the game now. Uh, we're on a collision course with a star, I believe, and there's no more escape pods. So I don't think I'm getting out of this alive. But if I'm going down, I think I'm taking everyone and everything with me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> See you next time. They're coming for oh, us. Oh, right. <laughs> we're not armed. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, God, he's right there. Fucking hell.